In today's ever-changing world, we hear so much about remote workflow and collaboration. As digital creators and storytellers, you have probably done some type of remote collaboration on one of your video projects. Because of their file size, it is time-consuming and challenging transferring large batches of video files back and forth. File transfer sites have helped make collaborations easier, but we have to be aware of storage limitations and time constraints in uploading and downloading media. If you have experience with remote video collaboration, or if you have yet to remote collaborate on a video project, you'll love the new features in Final Cut Pro 10 that make it easier to manage the video file sizes for collaborative workflows. If you don't already have it, download the free 90-day trial of Final Cut Pro by clicking the link in the description. Let's get started. In this video, we are going to go over making a video collaboration project using the Proxy Media Workflow, a new workflow feature that was introduced in Final Cut Pro 10.4.9. Creating Proxy Media for a Project. For the purpose of this tutorial, I created a library named Original Library. All of the media we will use has been copied into this library on import. For more information on how to manage your media library, please watch our tutorial on media management. Click on the event that contains the project you want to create proxy media for. For the purposes of this tutorial, I named my event Event 1 and my project We Make Movies. Select the project, go to File, Transcode Media, and check the box for Create Proxy Media. In Codec, you can choose either ProRes Proxy or H.264. For this lesson, leave the codec selected as ProRes Proxy. Select frame size for your proxy media. Use scale and select 50% for this tutorial. You can select a smaller percentage, 25% or 12.5%, which will reduce the file size even more while also reducing the quality of the image. You can also select the up to and select a smaller resolution. Click OK. Wait until the media has finished transcoding. You can tell by the filled up circle in the background tasks window, which, when it is filled, has a check mark in the circle. Create proxy library. Go to File, Copy to Library, and New Library. Choose the name and location of where you want to save the new library. For this tutorial, name your library Proxy Library. Click Save. Proxy Library is created and a Copy to Library, Proxy Library window appears. Under Include, make sure Media is selected. Underneath, Proxy Media is checked. In Final Cut 10.5, you can even create proxies at this step while copying your media to your new library. If there is any media without proxies, you'll see this notification. Simply click Transcode and Final Cut will make new proxies as part of the copying process. For more info on how to copy media into external locations, see our Media Management Lesson. Double click on the We Make Movies project icon to open the project in your timeline. You will notice that you may have a red Missing File Alert icon appearing in your thumbnails, timeline, and viewer. If you see this error, go up to the View pop-up menu in the viewer. Underneath the Media Playback option, select either Proxy Preferred or Proxy Only. Selecting Proxy Preferred will playback media that already has proxies created on the timeline and playback the original raw footage for everything else. Selecting Proxy Only will show any media without proxies on your timelines as missing media. For this workflow, I selected Proxy Only. In a moment, your proxy media will have thumbnails and be displayed in the timeline and viewer. You now have a new project that contains proxy media and a timeline you can upload to a collaborator. To see the difference in file sizes, click on the original library. In the library properties, your library name will be in gray. Under your library name is the location, and to the right is the library size. Remember this number. Now select the proxy library and note the file size quite a bit of difference. For a best practices tip, make sure to put a number 2 or version 2 on the We Make Movies project in your proxy library. This will help you to keep your versions labeled, especially if you make any changes. I named the project proxy library We Make Movies version 2. You'll see why in a moment. You can now transfer the proxy library to the collaborator by hard drive or upload it directly to your iCloud or one of the many file sharing and transfer services. You have successfully sent your project off to be collaborated with. 
whether it's color correction, audio balance, or effects added, you can move on to other tasks while you await the proxy library to come back. When your collaborator has finished their part, they will transfer the project back to you. You have one more step to complete, what we in the industry call round tripping, and that is to relink the collaborator's proxies, We Make Movies version 2 project, to the original media in your original library. Receiving the updated project back in your original library and linking it to the original media. This is the fastest way to copy the updated project to the original library. Have both original and proxy libraries open. Select We Make Movies version 2 from the proxy library. Scroll the timeline and look for any changes to the video from what was originally sent. Drag the We Make Movies version 2 project back into one of the Event 1 events in the original library. Make sure you see the green plus icon. That indicates it is copying. If you don't see the green plus icon, hold down Control or Command while dragging. The Copy Project to Library window comes back up. In Include, select Project Without Media. Click OK. Now, go to the viewer and select Optimized Original Media under Media Playback. Your updated project will now be relinked to the original media. Congratulations! You have successfully completed a round-trip workflow with Proxy Media. Even more importantly, you are now a remote video collaborator. Conclusion. We have shown you how to create a Proxy Media project for a library that is used for remote collaboration. This is just one of the many workflows and ways to collaborate. Have fun building up your team and skills for your next project. Enjoy the new world of remote collaboration and creating video with Final Cut Pro. If you'd like to learn more about Final Cut Pro, check out the next tutorial in this series here. And if you're curious about everything Final Cut Pro has to offer, but you still haven't tried it, you can check it out free for 90 days using the link below.